Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you the ifs function, a new formula available in the later versions of Excel. And if you're a user of an earlier version of Excel, uh, then the workaround will be the nested if. So I have here a simple example, which is the PhilHealth contribution here in the Philippines. And I just grabbed this table from the PhilHealth site and then I highlighted this part for a reference and then I make a summary of that reference in this part for our guide and some simple example here in the input cell which is a representative of uh, this uh, three conditions that I made. So in here, I'm going to first write the nested if. So in order to solve this problem using the nested if, you're going to write the if here and then the logical test will be uh, this uh, input in the input cell. If this is less than or equal to 10,000 comma, the value of if this is true will be this uh, particular premium. Then comma, now you have uh, the second condition. And in this case, you're going to write another if here. If, then the logical test will be this uh, cell here or the input cell here. This is greater than or equal to this amount. Comma, the premium will be this amount. Comma. And then uh, the if function is also asking you what is the value if this is false. And because you have you only have three criteria here or three conditions, um, you can write the false uh, value using the default condition, which is in this uh, range. And uh, in this case, you're not going to write the if formula here, but go straight with your formula, which is the cell here, the input cell here multiplied by 3.5% and then uh, close it, close it, and just make sure that the anchoring is correct. All of the cells will be locked except the input cells. And here and here. And then enter, copy and paste it. That's it. That's it. That's your answer. And let me move on with the ifs. What if you use the ifs? So we're going to write the ifs here. And then it requires you with a logical test. And the logical test will be basically the same with your first condition. If this cell is less than or equal to 10,000 comma, this is the premium comma. And then the second logical test, you don't need to write the if here. Just go straight with your logical test, which is this one is greater than or equal to this amount comma. Then the premium will be this amount. And then comma. And then the ifs function is always asking you for the logical test and what is the true value for that. And as if there is no false argument in this case. So if you want to add the default condition, you can either amend this part, which is not recommended. So let me just stop here because this is quite confusing now. Um, close it. Let me just have the two conditions here leave this uh, third condition and see what what will happen in our formula just make sure the anchoring is correct again the same as the nested if and then enter it copy paste it and you will see here that it is not applicable if this is within this range so the workaround for that is to combine it with if na formula by the way if na is also a new formula in excel so this is the value comma what is the value if this is NA? The value will be uh, like the false statement in the nested if, which is this amount multiplied by 3.5%. The anchoring should be correct. And then close it. And then copy and paste it. It's now correct in this part. And as you can see, both the nested if and ifs are confusing. In this case, you're always writing the if. In this case, you're combining two formulas, which is both confusing because this is not the real workaround for the ifs. The proper way to do the ifs is like this. Let me show you this one. This is just the first workaround. Let me copy this one. Let me cut the if and a here. And then remove the if and a. Let me open the ifs again. So this is the first condition. This is the second. Let me work on the third condition. So as you can see, the ifs condition is always finding the true value. And in this case, you're kind of manipulating the ifs condition and find a true value within your formula. And to do that, you're going to write a true here, which is uh, readable as a formula in Excel, comma, 
If this is true, this is the, uh, the value. This amount multiplied by 3.5%. Lock it, and that's it. As you can see here, in the nested if, if this false, this is the value. In the ifs, um, it's kind of reverse. If this is the true value, then this is the answer. So that's it. We copy and paste it. It's now correct. So this is the proper way to do the ifs function. And as you can see here, what happened here, just highlight the, the first condition, F9, the value is true. Uh, the second condition, the value is false. And then true, the third condition. So in here, the first true here is what the ifs function read within your formula. That's why it returns this amount. That's why this is the answer. The same thing with the second condition. And in the third condition, let me check it. This is a false uh, argument or answer. This is the false and the true. In this case, all the rest, all the conditions are false. So the true value will be the default condition or the remaining one, which is equivalent to this expression here, 3.5 multiplied by the monthly basic salary. So that's it. That's how you properly use the ifs function. So I hope you learned something from it and finish here. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time and thanks.